What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the kind of sit down that the devs had discussing the most recent patch and how they kind of just really messed up and exactly what they're going to change going forward. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you hadn't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Uh, the thing that was kind of interesting that they said right off the bat was they knew that this most recent update was a big problem and they vowed to never have another update like this again. One reason is, of course, there's a lot of criticism from the fans. A lot of people saying they're going to uninstall the game, not really going to play the game anymore, that they just really kind of ruined it. They were looking forward to season one. And this most recent update is pretty much just really kind of gotten rid of their enjoyability, I guess, when it comes to playing Diablo. Uh, and that's kind of a, a bad thing, I guess, for the dev team, considering the game's not been out that long. Uh, season one came out pretty quickly after the game was released. But at the same time, you still want people to play your game. And this patch really just kind of took the fun out of the game. Patch 1.1 was not exactly the best, I think, patch that uh, Blizzard could have done. And in response to that, of course, that during the campfire chat, they said that they wanted to directly, you know, kind of just apologize and say they had mistakes and some of the changes that they made were not popular and there were some things that they probably shouldn't have done. So they don't always get updates right, uh, and that's never a good experience for them or for the player base. But they promised to never have another update like this again. And of course, some of the different de uh, developers and the community directors and everything like that were talking and saying they want uh, the game to be more about a kind of a, a power fantasy game. Of course, that's what a RPG is kind of all about. And they want players to be able to have those fun, overpowered builds and, and things to do and have those crazy moments in game. And they said they were kind of pushing players out of doing that with this most recent update. Um, so they want to go ahead and start solving some of these problems in a future update, which is going to be 1.1.1. And they want players to really just enjoy their experience overall. They kind of talked about some things they're wanting to do on, uh, you know, increasing and improving some of the classes that they kind of really ran into the ground, which was the sorcerer and the barbarian classes. The sorcerer really was one I think got hit the worst. But they're wanting to improve those two classes also improve the density in nightmare dungeons and hell tides of you know just the amount of enemies they also want to make the game less of a grind they said they want to adjust the xp from level 50 to 100 to make reaching 100 feel more like an achievement rather than a chore and i know that is one complaint by a lot of newer players if you've never played diablo before having to make a new character every season uh, every season is definitely a grind but if you don't get to play a whole lot, if you don't have a ton of time, it's definitely something that a lot of people are not interested in or do not like about it. And I, I can get that. But at the same time, for players that have been around Diablo for a long time, they kind of knew this was coming. But I think this maybe will be kind of a, a happy medium there. They're going to increase that XP from 50 to 100. So it doesn't feel like it's going to take quite as long to get to that 100 mark. And I think that's probably a good idea, making it feel more like an achievement rather than a chore. Um, also, they said they want to, like I said, leave those overpowered builds alone. It says, you know, they want players to have alternatives, of course, to play, but at the same time, or, you know, alternative ways to play different classes. But those overpowered builds is what really makes the game enjoyable for some. And, you know, you can do some crazy things just while you're playing. So it looks like the community is definitely looking forward to exactly what's going to happen with update 1.1.1. They've put out a few lists of things they're looking to do just overall, but I just want to make a quick video talking about how the devs are, you know, really admitting they have messed up and they're not going to ever do an update like this again. They kind of even went on to say if they have a lot of nerfs in future updates, they plan on having a lot of buffs for the classes as well. So hopefully they'll stick to exactly, you know, what they're saying here and we won't have any of these really bad updates again and I think they're hoping they can get some of the player base that has left the game back you know because over time people are going to leave the game anyway they're going to come and go and play other games and you know maybe come back in a couple months but I, I really think they're worried about running players off with this bad bad update that we all really just did not like and they're probably worried that players will not come back and play if they do not fix this quickly Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you would like to see the devs change. 
you know, from things like they did in 1.1 or even some things they have not added to the game just yet. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.